where Big Time Battery and Electronics bring you some more of that big time information. Today, we will be covering how to charge and properly maintain a motorcycle battery. Under most conditions, when you are riding your bike, ATV, or other power sports vehicle on a regular basis, no charging or maintenance is required. The batteries are charged by your motorcycle or vehicle's alternator. Don't forget that your bike with the clock, stereo, and CB radio, alarm system, etc. is never completely turned off. Each of those devices has a keep alive memory to preserve your radio presets and time. And those memories draw about 20 milliamps or 0.02 amps. So bikes left for a long period of time will slowly discharge the battery. Also, batteries have a stand loss or shelf life when not in use. So if you leave your battery in your bike and don't use it for a long period of time, we recommend that at a minimum, you start your bike every few weeks and let it run for about 10 to 15 minutes. Before buying or using a charger, become familiar with the amount of amps and voltage of your specific battery. This information will provide you with what kind of charger you need. Again, become familiar with the amp hour and voltage of your specific battery. You do not want to use a charger with a higher voltage than your battery. Same goes for amp hours. You don't want to use a charger with a higher or equal to amp amount than your specific battery. For example, you do not want to charge a 2 amp hour battery with a 2 amp charger. My formula for determining a charger is to use a 1 tenth ratio of the battery amp amount. For example, if your battery is 30 amp hours, your best bet is to use a 3 amp hour charger. You can use something with a lower amp hour, but your charge time will be prolonged. And for example, again, if your battery is 10 amp hours, your best bet is to use a 1 amp hour charger. Batteries low in amp hour, such as a 7 amp hour, 5 amp hour, 3 amp hour battery, you're best off with a half amp charger or a half amp trickle charger. The higher amp batteries, such as a 80 amp hour, 100 amp hour battery, your best bet is a 10 amp hour. I recommend a 2 amp charging current for most motorcycle batteries. This will keep the battery cells steady and balanced during its time gathering power. And remember, when using a fancy brand, or big time battery bought charger, you face no risk of overcharging or ruining your battery. Here in front of me, you will see two types of clips. Alligator clips and eyelet terminal clips. Both of these will work fine. Important reminder, you should only charge your battery when its voltage is reading below its specified volts. Therefore, you will have to test your battery before charging. Alrighty, we have our motorcycle battery and our charger here. First things first, we're going to plug it in, giving power to our charger. And we can see here that the charger is indicating to us that it is on. We're going to take our alligator clips or eyelet terminal clips, whatever you may be using, and you will connect negative to negative and positive to positive and then now we can see here our charger has taken it upon itself to correlate with the correct voltage and amps for this specific battery as well right here we can see it is indicating to us that the battery is full or at its maximum voltage so once your battery is full or at its maximum voltage you are clear to disconnect your clips from contact with the battery terminals and you are good to power your charger off. This has been Cody over at Big Time Battery and Electronics. Thanks for watching.